Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing the Mario Kart diorama. So, um, this is um, one and a half inch XPS foam. So, I figure you've seen enough of these carvings. <laughs> I can just kind of skip through this part. Um, I did my best to try to slope it down, but you know I had to add a couple extra things there to you know uh, make the slope a little bit easier and a little bit of sanding just to roughen it up so the um, sculpt mold can actually stick a little bit better. The um, oh there we are. And there's the sculpt mold. Um, it's becoming a friend when it comes to these kind of dioramas. And uh, I'd say about. You know, every couple of minutes I'd come back to it just to kind of smooth it out the best that I could. But it's going to be covered up, so it doesn't really matter too much. Alright, so as I say, the primary thing for this is uh, felt. So, this is just some generic um, felt. It comes in multiple colors. Um, it's about 33 50 cents, something like that a piece. Um, I'm pretty much eyeballing all of this, so I'm just kind of cutting out little piece by little piece. And then I'm going to cut it um, with, I think, scissors. Scissors is about the only thing that actually cuts this stuff. Uh, I tried to cut it with a hobby knife and everything like that, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't cut it. I don't know. But uh, there it is. And so once I finally get the shape, then I go back and, and sort of do that little Mario Brothers grass um, curls. And then, you know, throw some glue down there and then and tack it down. The nice thing is that glue really helps sort of stretch it out a little bit, and so you gotta keep kind of playing around with it until the glue sets up a little bit. <clears throat> but uh, but I'm leaving that little edge open because I'm not really sure what to do about it on the right there. I haven't glued it down completely, just because I think I'm at this at this point I'm thinking I'm gonna do something else, but I don't. But um, now that I figure out how to work with the the felt I just gonna ahead and uh, do the rest of the green green grass um, and this is just I think nutmeg paint from uh, Apple Barrel nothing fancy just to paint the rocks and then I go back and then sort of touch up some areas with um, like a chocolate brown and this is just you know felt that I've used um, just a little a lighter version just for the highlights of the grass to kind of make it look more like the video game the Nintendo 64 version of the video game. All right, and the road is a little too jagged, so I gotta have to kind of level it out a little bit. And this is just generic um, sculpting paste, and then I add like a little couple pieces of felt to level it out a little bit more, and so I can see if it's you know too um, too steep. I'm gonna do the road. But I'm just going to use foam core, some cheap foam core that you can peel off from both sides. That way I can flex it, you know, move it around and bend it. I kind of cut a, a generic shape, um, uh, again, eyeballing the whole thing. And then eventually uh, I'm able to just get it down, you know, to where it needs to be. And then I create like a little chamfer on the edge so it's not as, um, it doesn't look as thick <laughs> as it actually is. Alright, so when I finally get the shape, I glue the stuff down, and um, I only glue the top half of it because I really need to get it weighted down and and dry before I start bending the rest of the stuff, otherwise I'm just going to sort of peel it all away. And so this takes a day to dry, and I still don't get it 100% to where I made it, so I have to fill in the gap with some thicker modeling paste. All right, this is just some basic um, apple barrel. It's called pavement, the color, and it's perfect. <laughs> it's also pretty self-explanatory. Um, okay, this is the tree that I started to sort of shape, just a, a random shape to kind of look like the game. I'm not very good at that, but um, I just did the best that I could and glued a couple pieces together to represent the tree. And um, and then, so I couldn't use felt because it wasn't working, so I had to use clay. And uh, this is probably the first time I've ever had to use clay in a sculpt, in a, in a model. So I just make a thin sheet, um, cut it out big enough, wrap it on there, kind of stretch it down so it's not so bad. And then finally, once it's there, I, and on, on the 
foam then I start cutting little pieces out to make it look like it's a bit closer to the game and so you can see it in the background there so I just do the one and then do another layer and then this top part right here is just a small thin piece I don't even make it fancy shape I just go ahead and do that and because of this um, paper clay you can get a little bit of water and then just kind of um, sculpt it down shave it down that water helps it stick so here it is here they are upside down but just you know nutmeg brown and some pink paint just to kind of match the the game and then um, now I'm using stir sticks but to be honest with you I should have just thought about um, uh, what is it? Hmm, what is it called? Um, toothpicks. Just toothpicks. That would have been so much easier, but instead I'm... Oh, hey, I have a stir stick. But um, I'm only just figuring out where I'm going to put the trees. I'm not actually going to glue them in. Uh, if you notice, I have the highlights on the grass, and I actually uh, create another layer of that felt around the, um, the road, only because it's thicker. And it was just a little too thick for my my taste so I went ahead and made a little curvy area to make it kind of blend in and now I'm just kind of painting a white paint strip around the edges of the road no big deal alright so this is just a piece of foam core a better foam core not the cheapest stuff um, and then I'm gonna make the uh, caution curved arrows with that and now I have toothpicks <laughs> and I have like little pieces of uh, the cheap foam uh, with all the paper torn off, to uh, they're going to be used for the fence um, at some point. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so I already have one of the fence posts in, so I'm just cutting off the toothpicks, and then uh, it's pretty simple for the most part. I'll just cut all these little fence posts, and then I'm going to jab them in, and then um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, there we are. I have to cut a little hole you know so that way they can actually go in because that foam will rip apart and um, you know it's pretty self-explanatory I didn't actually glue them in until a little bit later I just kept going until I got I don't know five or six maybe I think it's like five and then so I just um, cut some thinner strips of that same foam and kind of uh, glue them with Eileen's glue and then I use these little foam pins just so that way I don't have to hold on to them while they're drying. Then I come back and then I just dab the, the base with some glue as opposed to putting it inside of it. It, uh, it you know, it dries almost invisible, even on the felt. So it's actually pretty handy. And so there's those signposts now uh, painted. And I gotta turn one over because this is where the sort of the wreck is gonna be. The stuff that I had kind of planned for when I first started it. Um, you know, they're kind of, you know, permanently glued in there. Same way I did the fence. So, now I'm just blopping some glue because I'm finally down to the point where I can actually um, put these trees um, and kind of glue them in permanently. I, I figure maybe hot glue might be better for this kind of stuff, but um, I, I don't know. I, I try not to use hot glue unless I have to. Um... And because there's some other stuff I have to work on, I know it's going to have time to dry. Because it's going to have to sit overnight again here pretty soon. Or at least, you know, from this stage. Um, Alright, so here are the base toys that I have from Hot Wheels. Um, they only have like five, I think. So I got Mario, Luigi, and um, Bow uh, Bowser there. So Bowser's going to be knocked out. Now, I was going to do some sort of thing where he was like up in the air and all this other stuff but I dropped it <laughs> because it's so lightweight I dropped it and it kind of fell right there on the sign and it was sort of perfect it was just enough to emphasize what's happening um, without me having to do a whole lot extra for it so once I figured that out I went ahead and just got some hot glue out because the Eileen's glue wouldn't work for these they're just too heavy so I'm just gonna hot glue them in just a couple of wheels you know, and that way you can always just pop them off the diorama later and use them in the race car track or something. But, um, alright, so I sped this up because I'm doing the green turtle shells um, for ammunition. So, um, again, I'm not very good at sculpting here. This is probably the third thing I've ever done. 
So I just figured, you know, it's sort of a, an egg shape, and then I just do this little cord sort of thing around it, and eventually, um, I'm hoping that it, it turns into <laughs> uh, similar uh, to a shell, you know, of some kind or another. So this is just kind of kneading the the clay together so that way it doesn't really kind of fall off. Now this is just regular air dry clay. Um, just some cheap stuff that I got from Michaels, I think. So this is sort of the turtle collar. You know, something kind of small that I just put there in the front. And I take the end of a paintbrush so I can make the uh, the dimples and stuff like that for the arms and where the head goes. And then dip, a little, uh, dip it in some water so that way you can easily or more easily cut that um, or carve the little shell indentations so this took about six minutes I think to do one so not a whole lot of time um, and then I had to do three of them <laughs> so okay uh, here we are normal speed and there is the third one obviously they do not match but I don't know I guess they're kind of close they're close enough, I guess. They'll be spread across the, the the diorama, so you won't be able to tell too much. Okay, so I did this off camera. Um, this is good foam core, something that the paper won't fall off of, and it's glossy. And I just sort of hand drew this um, the signage, and um, uh, and then the, I painted it with uh, poster paints, um, and then I just sort of outlined it with a sharpie marker. And as I say, ultimately, it's just there's the stair sticks to create the sort of uh, finish line posts. And then um, again, you have to kind of make the guide holes there. Otherwise, it's going to screw everything up because this foam is pretty delicate. Um, I think eventually I go back and paint these posts, but I don't do it right here. I just leave them the sort of the wood color. Um, and it's kind of, you know, it's shaping up there. Okay, so um, this stage I'm actually painting. I'm just using black paint um, to create sort of skid marks around the uh, the track or this little part of the roadway. And a great part about this is is that this is kind of an old brush, and so I'm not trying to make um, the paint marks solid. You know, sort of as they go across the different paint and the textures, it actually streaks everything and makes a perfect um, you know, kind of thing. So this is um, some parchment, mm, like off-white color with a little bit of yellow to try to, uh, to create the bottom paint. And then just a medium tone green, um, nothing fancy. Um, and now I'm using, oh, what is this? This is just like a dark tone, I think, um, like a wash. And then I just kind of do a couple drops on the inside of those, um, the head hole and the arm holes. And then do a little, just a quick dry brush layer over the the top now it's flat paint so it's going to kind of not go anywhere it's going to kind of tint the whole thing so just be careful with that all right so now my hot glue gun is up <laughs> i don't have it so i'm just using glue to kind of put these down and so that one is the one that hit bowser and then this one is going to be the one that um you know, it's just for a second there. There's the third one he has just sort of up there in the top, just so he's, his brother can win the race, and not, not Bowser. <laughs> At least that's my idea anyway. So now I've finally decided I'm just going to glue this stuff down, and I don't know what else to do with it. And then I'm just going to paint the rest of the edges um, black. Now, I was going to do something like where it looked like uh, a lot of earth, but I decided not to. And that's it.